to grow our economy, create more jobs, and keep our streets safe. We welcome all of you to help us deliver the secure future which all of us deserve. Let's protect and build a better future. My history of community work makes me want to be a representative because the kind of things I've done in East Bastia to help people has allowed me to see some of the realities that individuals and families face on a daily basis. So I feel strongly in my heart that I can come up with solutions to help persons improve the quality of their lives and deliver the secure future that they need for themselves and their families. And so based on my experience with the reading program, and assisting families get their medical expenses paid and buying groceries for their children, I believe that I can provide the support necessary through the People's Labour Party to help everyone in East Bastyr. And so that's why I would encourage you to vote for Jacqueline Bryan in constituency number one. Remember, Jacqueline and the Saw is who you're voting for. There are several things in my local plan that will help deliver a secure future by growing the economy, creating jobs, and protecting people. For example, the care center for the elderly, so that when you go to work, you don't have to worry about your loved ones. This center will take care of the seniors in East Bastyr during the day, so we can ensure that they are well taken care of. We can grow the economy by supporting our local entrepreneurs. We have so many persons in East Bastia with bright ideas. I am committed to assisting them get what they need to realize their dreams by assisting them with developing their business plans and learning how to access financing. We can also create jobs through all the infrastructure projects that I have planned. For example, to find housing solutions, we will need to build houses. And these things can create jobs for persons who are in need of jobs. So I can deliver a secure future for all the constituents of East Bastyr. That's why it's important to vote for Jacqueline Bryan in constituency number one. So remember, Jacqueline and the Saw is who we are voting for. As a member of this community, I grew up right here in Mullen Avenue. And I've seen the hardship face. At this point in time, PLP has a track record of delivery. And that is what persons need directly in Central Bastia right now, as it pertains to opportunities to progress and the secure future that we have to offer. As a part of our secure future agenda, I am committed to resolving the housing crisis we face right now in Central Bastia. I am committed to the construction of apartment buildings such as these right here behind of me. The construction of these buildings would afford homeowners the peace and security of their own home. Made some commitments to the people of number three. I told them during the last election that I would deliver for them in a number of areas. I want to be able to continue so that I can fulfill those commitments that I would have made to them, plus be able to continue to provide job opportunities, secured future for them, and to be sure that they're able to be landowners, which is something that's so important to the people of constituency number three. We've started, and I want to be able to continue. They gave me a five-year.
followers. I make this declaration consciously believing the same to be true. And I am aware that if there is any statement in this declaration which is false, I do not believe to be true. I am liable to apply the imprisonment prescribed by the law. My signature.
Party them shit. Yeah, stick to the plan just like a doctor. 
are where me want you fi do. This are where me want you fi do. Go make you ex don't get trouble. PLP are the team for you. Election man in everybody we a cup. Everybody just a vote, 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 vote. PLP are the team. Everybody want we. Any other team that I get vote oh, we. Come on, come 
Notwithstanding the setbacks which the world and our country face given COVID, I am sure that the people of St. Christopher 6, West Boston, will return a heal of Iris as their parliament's representative. I congratulate her. I congratulate the full team that has been working with her. And I know by God's grace we shall triumph on the 5th of August. 5th of August, when the election will be held. So, again, it's time to go. I feel satisfied and encouraged by the enthusiasm and the support demonstrated today at this particular event. And I'm happy that I was able to make some time within the schedule to come and to give the deputy leader of the party strong support on this occasion. Yes. Election man and everybody we a cup. Everybody just a vote, 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 vote. PLP a the team, everybody want we any other team that I get vote oh, no. made some commitments to the people of number three. I told them during the last election that I would deliver for them in a number of areas. I want to be able to continue so that I can fulfill those commitments that I would have made to them. Plus be able to continue to provide job opportunities, secured future for them, and to be sure that they're able to be landowners, which is something that's so important to the people of constituency number three. We've started and I want to be able to continue. They gave me a five-year mandate and I want to be able to continue with that five-year mandate.
continue on the path of ensuring that we secure our economy we have a strong economy that would be able to deliver what we need to deliver and all the commitments that were made in terms of land ownership job opportunities helping our small business entrepreneurs to continue to develop giving them that mentorship that they need to be able to build lucrative um, small businesses those are the type of things that I want to be able to secure for the people of number three give them that safe secure future in a strong economy What I'm most proud of is as representative for West Bastyr in these last two years, I was able to fulfill a commitment that I made to the people of Lagrit, which was to be able to allow them the opportunity to have land ownership. And I'm so happy that those titles are being handed over to the people of Lagrit, but it didn't stop there. We're also providing the infrastructure so they'll have the proper roads, electricity, water. That was something. But stay focused. Stay focused, West Bastia. It will be a killer by when Nisbet for the second time. Since they wanted it in two years, they're getting it in two years, and we're doing this for a seven year term, if that's what they want. And then after that, we lock. TLT is locked forever. Killer by when Nisbet in number three, all the way. And all of the other PLT candidates throughout saying it. Make sure the election is able to
the high cost of electricity, which went up by 85% in one school, the high cost of water, which went up by 500%, the bank being in the truth, taking money from the poor, and all the other atrocities, the reputational damage to the country over the way in which labor was administered in the country, which led to the loss of our Canada, Canadian visa or access, visa free access to Canada. And you compare that to the last seven years, which all good cuts have been the best years for the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. Best years in terms of performance, best years in terms of the strength of the fiscal affairs of the country. We entered the pandemic according to the IMF with the strongest fiscal numbers anywhere in the OECS in the Caribbean and Latin America and the Caribbean. This is a tremendous accolade and affirmation of the wisdom of the people of St. Kitts and Nevis in electing the House to lead the, the government. When we look at our social safety net, we were strong. We have over 20 plus social safety nets across a range of ministries, including education, inclusion, social affairs, and gender, including in sustainable development, where we have the popular uh, back program that has been a lifesaver and was intended to assist the poor and stimulate economic development in the country. You add that to the range of support programs on the whole stimulus package, the assistance we are providing to families with disabilities first ever, income support, the highest ever in the Caribbean region. And so we have a tremendous track record. Then you have our programs to continue to assist people within the first 100 days. The assistance to the, those former workers of the government who were denied their pension after many, many years of service, they will now get their pensions and we go back with your active for 2012 to make that happen. The making permanent district workers now frees up opportunities for them to get loans from the bank, go to the embassy and apply to visit because they are not, no longer to be considered as temporary workers in transition. So there's a whole of lot that has been accomplished in the past. We promise to protect the people, maintain peace and stability in the country. We promise to create more jobs for a range of projects, covering the broad public sector program. And of course, we promise by creating jobs, increasing income and opportunities to make Aquí
are. We cannot risk our future with labor. St. Kitts and Nevis cannot risk going back to uncontrollable crime when homicides were nearly 40 per year and safety was not a priority. St. Kitts and Nevis cannot risk going back to reckless spending of taxpayers' dollars when over US half a billion dollars were unaccounted for in labor-designed projects like La Valle and Kittishan Hill. St. Kitts and Nevis was poorer. St. Kitts and Nevis cannot risk going back to selling passports to suspected international criminals. A time when all Kittishans and divisions were placed on a banned list. Today, under Timothy Harris, the People's Labour Party is building a stronger economy and making our community safer. Only the PLP has the plan, the people, and the passion to grow our economy, create more jobs, and keep our streets safe. We welcome all of you to help us deliver the secure future which all of us deserve. Let's protect and build a better future. made some commitments to the people of number three. I told them during the last election that I would deliver for them in a number of areas. I want to be able to continue so that I can fulfill those commitments that I would have made to them, plus be able to continue to provide job opportunities, secured future for them, and to be sure that they're able to be landowners, which is something that's so important to the people of constituency number three. We've started, and I want to be able to continue. They gave me a five-year mandate, and I want to be able to continue with that five-year mandate. Continue on the path of ensuring that we secure our economy. We have a strong economy that would be able to deliver what we need to deliver and all the commitments that were made in terms of land ownership, job opportunities, helping our small business entrepreneurs to continue to develop, giving them that mentorship that they need to be able to build lucrative um, small businesses. Those are the type of things that I want to be able to secure for the people of number three. Give them that safe, secure future in a strong economy. What I'm most proud of is as representative for West Bastyr in this last two years, I was able to fulfill a commitment that I made to the people of Lagreet, which was to be able to allow them the opportunity to have land ownership. And I'm so happy that those titles are being handed over to the people of Lagreet, but it didn't stop there. We're also providing the infrastructure so they'll have the proper roads, electricity, water. That was something that I really wanted to be able to fulfill for the people of Lagreet, and I'm happy that I was able to do that in this past two years. My parents have been my biggest influence in my life. I've seen my parents work tirelessly to make sure that myself and my siblings were, a, were well taken care of, that all of our needs were met. They even went beyond to make sure that we were happy, even if it meant that their happiness had to be pushed back for a bit or whatever they wanted or needed had to be pushed back for a bit they did it for us and they taught us the value of working hard and being able to go after what you believe in in a positive attitude with a positive sense of mind and with all the confidence that you could possibly have and so I'm grateful for that influence from my parents. so much for this country and for the people of number seven just to name a few the roofing program Timothy did that the pop program Timothy did that the help at school program Timothy did that
program Timothy did that the pop program Timothy did that the health patrol school program Timothy did that there's a room up above me I have a good name to sleep hold on Larry hold on I'm not done yet hold on Homes, Timothy did that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Are you hold on, hold on. Took poor people out of poverty. Timothy did that. <laughs> Creating more jobs. Timothy did that. I like that one, yeah, hold on. Increasing salaries. Timothy did that. St. Kitts and Nevis has come so far. We cannot risk our future with labor. St. Kitts and Nevis cannot risk going back to uncontrollable crime when homicides were nearly 40 per year and safety was not a priority. St. Kitts and Nevis cannot risk going back to reckless spending of taxpayers' dollars when over US half a billion dollars were unaccounted for in labor-designed projects like La Valle and Kittishan Hill. St. Kitts and Nevis was poorer. St. Kitts and Nevis cannot risk going back to selling passports to suspected international criminals. A time when all Kittitians and divisions were placed on a banned list. Today, under Timothy Harris, the People's Labour Party is building a stronger economy and making our community safer. Only the PLP has the plan, the people, and the passion to grow our economy, create more jobs, and keep our streets safe. We welcome all of you to help us deliver the secure future which all of us deserve. Let's protect and build a better future.
made some commitments to the people of number three. I told them during the last election that I would deliver for them in a number of areas. I want to be able to continue so that I can fulfill those commitments that I would have made to them. Plus, be able to continue to provide job opportunities, secured future for them, and to be sure that they're able to be landowners, which is something that's so important to the people of constituency number three. We've started, and I want to be able to continue. They gave me a five-year mandate, and I want to be able to continue with that five-year mandate. continue on the path of ensuring that we secure our economy. We have a strong economy that would be able to deliver what we need to deliver and all the commitments that were made in terms of land ownership, job opportunities, helping our small business entrepreneurs to continue to develop, giving them that mentorship that they need to be able to build lucrative um, small businesses. Those are the type of things that I want to be able to secure for the people of number three. Give them that safe, secure future in a strong economy. What I'm most proud of is as representative for West Bastyr in this last two years, I was able to fulfill a commitment that I made to the people of Lagrit, which was to be able to allow them the opportunity to have land ownership. And I'm so happy that those titles are being handed over to the people of Lagrit, but it didn't stop there. We're also providing the infrastructure so they'll have the proper roads, electricity, water. That was something that I really wanted to be able to fulfill for the people of Lagrit, and I'm happy that I was able to do that in this past two years. My parents have been my biggest influence in my life. I've seen my parents work tirelessly to make sure that myself and my siblings were, a, were well taken care of, that all of our needs were met. They even went beyond to make sure that we were happy, even if it meant that their happiness had to be pushed back for a bit or whatever they wanted or needed had to be pushed back for a bit they did it for us and they taught us the value of working hard and being able to go after what you believe in in a positive attitude with a positive sense of mind and with all the confidence that you could possibly have and so I'm grateful for that influence from my parents. Spending time with my family. I love being able to spend time with my husband and children. Just that quiet time when it's just us so that we'll just be able to enjoy each other. And just to be able to continue to see my children growing, seeing them be happy and playful and just being able to spend that quality time with my husband. Well, this is a street I grew up on and when you hear me say on the podium that I am the son of the soil and it is because this is where I grew, this is where I struggled among you my people of number four. So I felt the struggles and I know the needs for our constituency. So I am here with a plan to protect our people, to provide more jobs and to grow our economy in number four. And we must provide homes, better streets and safer streets for the people of number four and we will deliver these to you the people of number four the people of number four deserves proper representation they deserve more opportunities more jobs and more educational resources and definitely i can their library would be willing to work and work with you the people to create these opportunities to secure a brighter future for you the people of number four All young people in constituency number five, Sandy Point, Fig Tree and La Valley, should vote for me because I am that person who could deliver more jobs, more opportunities for young persons in business. Being myself, a young entrepreneur, I intend to use my skills and my experiences over the years to have business incubators that harnesses and develop the skills of the young people and encourage them to develop their own business. I want to also ensure that through education, our young people can have the opportunities to develop their own talents and pursue whatever career 
they want. Additionally, as a young man in Sandy Point who have shown that I can get things done, I am an action man and I would never be that lazy representative that we currently have, whose hands are tied and can't do anything but give excuses. I will never give excuses for the people of Sandy Point, Lavalle and Fig Tree, and I'm here to work for you. Let's do it together. Let's win big for the people of Sandy Point, Fig Tree and Lavalle. We've had 15 years of a PAM administration and we've seen the neglect for our community here in Sandy Point. We've also had 20 years of a labor administration and they have abandoned us. We've also had seven years of a deputy prime minister who did nothing for Sandy Point. It is time for this to stop. I have been involved in community groups such as the Spirit Group of Sandy Point that brought our community together. I've sponsored sports such as the Sandy Point Pride basketball team. And these were all about bringing our community together and developing young people. Elect Stasio Williams so that I can grow our economy, protect our people, and deliver that secure future for us here in constituency number five. Constituency six needs new representation because the representation that we have for the past 30 something years has failed us, has failed us tremendously. You look at the playground facilities in Sadler's, in Parsons Ground, in Deep Bay, in St. Paul's, in Newton Ground. It has degraded to a point where we cannot use the facilities anymore in some instances. Look at the background behind me. You look at the coastal erosion that has happened for decades and decades with no one putting a step forward to make any amends to um, the, the, the coastal erosion that is happening here. We need representation that will deliver a secure future for the people in Constituency 6, for all the communities. We need the People's Labour Party. We need the persons of Constituency 6 to go out and vote for the People's Labour Party in the upcoming general election. Thank you. I'm here in Atlas Village, the start of my constituency. Now this election coming, it's a very crucial election where we have to make a choice, a choice for our future. We have to consider where our gains are and where our losses are. A vote for Labour will put us back where we had bloody streets, mourning parents, children losing their fathers and at early age. Let us vote for Andrew Talbot Bass to secure a safer future and safer streets. The young people in constituency 8 should vote for me because I am a testimony of young people in the community getting up, rising up and providing opportunities for others. I am a hard-working young businessman has risen up from nothing to something and I provide opportunities and work. I employed a number of workers from throughout the entire island and if I can do it, you can do it too. St. Kitts and Nevis has come a long way. Our streets are safer. Our economy is much stronger. And our people were protected during the COVID-19 pandemic. We can have a stronger and safer future. But in these uncertain times, that future is under threat. Predictions of a global recession would mean less jobs for our people, less opportunities for our young people, and further increases in the cost of living pressures. This election, you will decide who you trust to manage the economy in these global uncertain times. Now is not the time to choose inexperience or lazy leadership. Only the People's Labour Party, PLP, has the plan, the people, and the policies to secure our Federation's future. So, on election day, vote for your PLP candidate, and let's keep delivering a secure future for everyone.
we've come a long way. Our streets are safer, our economy is stronger, and our people protected. St. Kitts and Nevis can have a secure future, but we cannot take this future for granted. International storm clouds are gathering. Predictions of a global economic recession would hit us hard. This would cause less jobs, less opportunities, and increased pressures on cost of living. In these uncertain times, we need experienced leadership to secure our future. Leadership that will protect our people by keeping and improving PAP and STEM. Leadership that will build on the peace enhance and improve it so it never falls apart. Leadership that will create more jobs and more opportunities for our young people. Timothy Harris and his PLP team have a strong record of protecting the economy and the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. They have a strong plan to grow the economy, improve We've come a long way. Our streets are safer, our economy is stronger, and our people protected. St. Kitts and Nevis can have a secure future, but we cannot take this future for granted. International storm clouds are gathering. Predictions of a global economic recession would hit us hard. This would cause less jobs, less opportunities and increased pressures on cost of living. In these uncertain times, we need experienced leadership to secure our in Sandy Point. Ghost of them. Come from a little place where we call Saint Anne. SP, where the best be. People are strive to be nothing but great and them can't 
get sweet. Oh, Sandy Point, me love you, me not lie. Oh, them can't stop a thing, them for go and try. Sandy Point, stash you are the best. A man who gon' make Sandy Point feel blessed. Best results, he hears every test. Back where Sandy Point as a youth is a test. He's my step. We got clear. Ready for the change. Transparency. Inclusivity. Yes, that is Jackie. Country above self. There is no one else serving his past. Sand is a priority. Youth development. Stops for you and me. He's master in the market. Let we go, Jackie. Jackie. Like that. We got 
Good governance, transparency, inclusivity, yes, that is Jackie. Country above self, there is no one else. Serving his boss, the whole community. Healthcare and welfare, let justice be fair. Education is a priority. You development, jobs for you and me. This master in the market, let we go, Jackie. Jackie. This master, she's the one for me. In the number one constituency, she come up live her community. Jackie. She taking care of the elderly. Children, middle age, me say everybody. Now show we me I say she care She stand now she will conquer Jackie come me with this And she come to conquer Who you voting for? Jackie, Jackie with this uh. Jackie, who you voting for? Jackie, Jackie with this uh. I say she care She stand now she will conquer And Jackie come me with this And she come to conquer Who you voting for? Jackie, Jackie with this uh. Jackie, who you voting for? Jackie, Jackie with this uh. Jackie, this pastor she's the one for me. In the number one constituency, she come up live her community. Jackie, she taking care of the elderly, children, middle aged, you say everybody. Put up your hands, no show. She's the one for way 
in the number one constituency. She come up live her community. Take she taking care of the elderly. Children, middle age, me say everybody. Put up your hands, no show with me. I say she care, she stand on, she will conquer. Jackie come me with this, and she come to conquer. Who you voting for? Jackie, Jackie with this. Sincerely swear and affirm as follows that I am duly qualified in accordance with sections 27 and 28 of the Constitution of St. Christopher and Nevis to be elected as a member of the National Assembly for the Electoral District, and that one, I am a citizen of St. Christopher. <laughs> Two, I am not domiciled in St. Christopher and Nevis. Three, I am not by virtue of my own act on the acknowledgement of allegiance, obedience, or adherence to foreign power or state. Four, I am not a minister of religion. Five, I am not an undischarged bankrupt, having been a judge or otherwise declared bankrupt on the law. Six, I am not a person certified to be insane or otherwise a judge to be of unsound mind on the law. Seven, I am not under sentence of death imposed on me by a court of law or any part of the Commonwealth, now am I serving a sentence of imprisonment by whatever name parallel, exceeding 12 months imposed on me by such a court or substituted by a competent authority for some other sentence of imprisonment, the execution of which has been suspended. Eight, I am not disqualified from membership of the National Assembly by any law of the National Assembly by reason of my holding or acting in off in any office, the functions of which involve a any responsibility for or in connection with the conduct of any election of representatives or members of the new style of assembly, or b any responsibility for the compilation of any register of names for the purpose of electing representatives or members of the new style of assembly. Nine, I am not disqualified from membership of the National Assembly by virtue of any law of parliament by reason of A, by having been convicted of a criminal offence that is connected with the conduct of any election of representatives or members of the Navy Island Assembly, or B, having been reported guilty of such an offence by a court trying an election petition. 10, I am not disqualified from membership of the National Assembly by any law of parliament by reason of A, my holding or acting in any offence, oh, sorry, my holding or acting in any office or appointment specified by law, B, my belonging to any defence force or any class of persons so specified that it is that is comprised in any such force. 
C. Might belong to any police force specified by law, by such law, or to any class of persons so specified. 11. I am not disqualified from membership in the National Assembly by virtue of my having any contract or interest in any contract with the government or with the Department of Government or any officer of the government acting as such. I made this declaration conscientiously, believing the same to be true, and I am aware that. If there is any statement in this declaration which is false or do, do not believe to be true, I am liable for fine and imprisonment as prescribed by law. Then you sign uh, the date and at the back the both nominating individuals. Statutory declaration of a person nominating a candidate for election as a member of National Assembly. We, the undersigned voters of constituency one. Thank you, for one. Do hereby nominate the following person as a proper person to serve as a member of the National Assembly of St. Christopher and Nevis for the said constituency of, and we certify that to the best of our belief, he or she is qualified for election as a member of the National Assembly. I pass it to your Lord. If you have the opportunity to read it over yourself. Well, thank you. And, uh, Let's look at this one as an example. Bear in mind the name that you have here. It should be as you would want it to appear on the ballot and vote on the election day. Right? With the correct spelling and all that. Use this as an example. You can accompany that. Yes. Names on the ballot will appear in alphabetical order as well. By last name? No, first middle last. Oh, yeah, by last name, sorry. Yes. Think this before one? So I can put the middle name on the ballot? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She come to 
Candidate one for constituency one, Jacqueline Bryan was nominated for Keeper's Labour Party. She's a first time candidate. Jackie, how do you feel about this being um, an inaugural position, a first position, a first Would you believe me if I told you first? It's just that amazing right now. This is probably one of the most important days of my life, and I'm very happy to have been given the opportunity to put myself up to represent the people of number one. I want to say thank you so much for this opportunity. I won't let you down. Thank you so much, Jackie. Children, middle age, me say everybody Put up your hands, no show me That's how she came, she saw how she will conquer Jackie come me with this and she come to conquer Who you voting for? Jackie, Jackie with this song Jackie, who you voting for? Jackie, Jackie with this song I say she came, she saw how she will conquer And Jackie come me with this and she come to conquer Transparency, 
My history of community work makes me want to be a representative because the kind of things I've done in East Bastia to help people has allowed me to see some of the realities that individuals and families face on a daily basis. So I feel strongly in my heart that I can come up with solutions to help persons improve the quality of their lives and deliver the secure future that they need for themselves and their families. And so based on my experience with the reading program, and assisting families get their medical expenses paid and buying groceries for their children, I believe that I can provide the support necessary through the People's Labour Party to help everyone in East Bastyr. And so that's why I would encourage you to vote for Jacqueline Bryan in constituency number one. Remember, Jacqueline and the Saw is who you're voting for. There are several things in my local plan that will help deliver a secure future by growing the economy, creating jobs, and protecting people. For example, the care center for the elderly, so that when you It's also a very big day for East Bastyr, and I believe come August 5th, we will have reason to celebrate. I want to thank everyone for their support so far. Thank you for this opportunity. I'm going to do my best to give you the best representation possible. There are several things in my local plan that will help deliver a secure future by growing the economy, creating jobs, and protecting people. For example, the care center for the elderly, so that when you go to work, you don't have to worry about your loved ones. This center will take care of the seniors in East Bastyr during the day, so we can ensure that they are well taken care of. We can grow the economy by supporting our local entrepreneurs. We have so many persons in East Bastia with bright ideas. I am committed to assisting them get what they need to realize their dreams by assisting them with developing their business plans and learning how to access financing. We can also create jobs through all the infrastructure projects that I have planned. For example, to find housing solutions, we will need to build houses. And these things can create jobs for persons who are in need of jobs. So I can deliver a secure future for all the constituents of East Bastyr. That's why it's important to vote for Jacqueline Bryan in constituency number one. So remember, Jacqueline and the Saw is who we are voting for. Timothy Harris has done so much for this country and for the people of number seven. Just to name a few, the roofing program, Timothy did that. The pub program, Timothy did that. The help a child school program, Timothy did that. Timothy did that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Took poor people out of poverty. Timothy did that. <laughs> Creating more jobs. Timothy did that. Oh, I like that one, yeah. hold on. Increasing salaries. Timothy did that. My history of community work makes me want to be a representative because the kind of Thank you, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, standing point. I introduce you, our nominated candidate.
drive past your body and your black things and vehicles. Yeah, yeah. So the men can choose. I'm a who makes no excuse. Pull up the trap when things get lost. So number five, I'm the seed in your eyes. All young people in constituency number five, Sandy Point, Fig Tree and La Valley, should vote for me because I am that person who could deliver more jobs, more opportunities for young persons in business. Being myself, a young entrepreneur, I intend to use my skills and my experiences over the years to have business incubators that harnesses and develop the skills of the young people and encourage them to develop their own business. I want to also ensure that through education, our young people can have the opportunities to develop their own talents and pursue whatever career they want. Additionally, as a young man in Sandy Point who have shown that I can get things done, I am an action man and I would never be that lazy representative that we currently have, whose hands are tied and can't do anything but give excuses. I will never give excuses for the people of Sandy Point, Lavalle and Fig Tree, and I'm here to work for you. Let's do it together. Let's win big for the people of Sandy Point, Fig Tree and Lavalle. We've had 15 years of a PAM administration and we've seen the neglect for our community here in Sandy Point. We've also had 20 years of a Labour administration and they have abandoned us. We've also had seven years of a Deputy Prime Minister who did nothing for Sandy Point. It is time for this to stop. I have been involved in community groups such as the Spirit Group of Sandy Point that brought our community together. I've sponsored sports such as the Sandy Point Pride basketball team and these were all about bringing our community together and developing young people. Elect Stasio Williams so that I can grow our economy, protect our people and deliver that secure future for us here in constituency number five. St. Kitts and Nevis can have a strong and secure future. We can have a future with a growing economy, a future where people are protected, and a future where jobs are being created. But this future will not happen by accident. We live in uncertain times with the risk of a global recession, increasing oil prices, and increasing COVID rates. Now is not the time, therefore, for lazy or inexperienced leadership. Now is the time for strong, experienced leadership that puts our country and people first. So on election day, I encourage you to vote for your PLP candidate. Together, we can deliver a secure future for you. God bless you. St. Kitts and Nevis has come so far. We cannot risk our future with labor. St. Kitts and Nevis cannot risk going back to uncontrollable crime when homicides were nearly 40 per year and safety was not a priority. St. Kitts and Nevis cannot risk going back to reckless spending of taxpayers' dollars when over US half a billion dollars were unaccounted for in labor-designed projects like La Valle and Kittishan Hill. St. Kitts and Nevis was poorer. St. Kitts and Nevis cannot risk going back to selling passports to suspected internet. Once a 
Well, I'm now officially nominated as the candidate for the People's Labour Party. So on election day, come out in your numbers. Come out and vote for Andrew Talbot Bass for continued progress and for a prosperity and for a good future under the People's Labour Party. So vote on election day. Vote for the SOC. Vote for Andrew Talbot Bass. <laughs> Them can't test me, oh, Sandy boy, me love you, me not like, oh, Them can't stop a thing, them to watch out, this is the thing that they want, this is but me and him serving people all my life, so it's nothing strange, it's nothing new, it's just to be serving the people on a higher level, they'll be able to take care of the people in a better way, so it's a good feeling. Okay, um, what, what, how do you see the, this election going? I mean, how confident are you that we can, honest, well, we can retain this seat for the PLP? I am fully confident that I will put Dr. Drew in his political retirement. Okay, and um, you know, if, you know, everybody is saying that you know this is going to be a very close one. How confident are you that not only you and you, but the government itself that the PLP will form? Well, the PLP will form the government. The Prime Minister, out of all the leaders, the Prime Minister, our Prime Minister, Dr. Timothy Harris, has shown that he is the best for the country at this time with all the economic challenges we have seen him through COVID, and you recognize that the country was pretty stable. He executed a lot, of, a lot of stimulus packages to assist the persons who were not working, all those people in the tourism industry, taxi men, hotel mayors. You, you have seen it. And right now, we can't take any chances with our future of the country by putting it into the hands of lazy people or inexperienced people. Okay, let, let's look at this from a broader perspective. Talbot Bass, let's see who wins the election. What are some of the priority areas? that Talbot Bass wants to focus on, not only for the people of constituency in it, but the country in general? Not if I win, when I win, when I'm in office, I will make sure that the people of the country are looked after. We will represent them in a better way. Opportunities will be provided for them, especially the young ones. We will direct them into skill training. So we will make sure that we look at the country, see what is lacking of the country, and we will make sure that our people, our youth, can fill those gaps in the areas of vehicle technicians, for example, vehicle te uh, upholstery. We still have vehicle air conditioning. All those areas, we are lacking of skill men in those areas. So these are the ways we want to empower the youths and the people of the country. We want to improve agriculture. We want to assist them in a better way. So we want to grow and continue to grow the economy and the country as a whole. And finally, um, you talk about youth um, unemployment and you, you, you're finding basically skills training that you're, you're enhancing for the youth development in St. Kitts and Nevis. 
we're still in COVID. We're still seeing um, inflation skyrocketing with these food prices. How are you, as somebody who's been in this business, in your business, your entrepreneur, um, how are you seeing an, an Tago Bass, should PLP form the government again, hypothetically speaking, how are you going to work to one, food, decrease the prices, and also tackle the challenges that we're facing when it comes to water and uh, the rising inflation? When it comes to water, I am committed to improve the water supply here in St. Kitts for the people, especially constituency number eight. If we cannot bring the water from the mountain, we drill wells or we bring it from the sea. I am determined to make sure that we improve the entire living condition for the, all of the people. We want to attract investors to come in. We want to work with the farmers to increase the food supply on the country. Once we could feed ourselves, then we move into trying to export so that we could bring foreign exchange into the country. Okay, and what, what constituency is? It's one of the largest constituencies. Um, what are your major plans for this constituency? Well, it's not one of the largest. It is the largest. And that is why constituency is one a big man, because it's a big constituency. And one of my main objective is to fix the water problem throughout the constituency. In St. Peter's, right here as we stand, there is the existing health center on the other side of the road. When the health center which is being built is completed, I want to take down those three buildings over there and put a shopping complex over there. Spaces so that the people of St. Peter's can benefit. We will be able to rent them a space at a small rate so that every month they will be able to provide services to the people. We need barber shops, we need pharmacy, we need restaurants. So we have spaces for people. The women can do a salon, things like that. One of the other things I want to do, which will impact the people, not just of St. Peter's, but the people who use the area. I want to pick, put a walking way from St. Parry Village all the way down to the Douglas Mango Tree. You recognize we have the health center here, we have the preschool there, we have the primary school on the other side, and all those persons walking on the road, and you see all the drivers drive. I care for the people, so I will make sure that I put that walkway in so the pedestrians will be off of the streets. Where is the family in the boys? <laughs> Pia has to join him in number two, not my community center. Pia has not been nominated in the family. No, no, no. Very much, very much. 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 Then let's get to it. Coming from a little place where we can't say that. SP, where the best be. People are trying to be nothing but great and them can. I'm a 
of my constituency now this election coming it's a very crucial election where we have to make a choice a choice for our future we have to consider where our gains are and where our losses are a vote for labor will put us back where we had bloody streets mourning parents children losing their fathers and at early age let us vote for Andrew Talbot Bass to secure a safer future and safer streets. St. Kitts and Nevis has come a long way. Our streets are safer. Our economy is much stronger. And our people were protected during the COVID-19 pandemic. We can have a stronger and safer future. But in these uncertain times, that future is under threat. Predictions of a global recession would mean less jobs for our people, less opportunities for our young people, and further increases in the cost of living pressures. This election, you will decide who you trust to manage the economy in these global uncertain times. Now is not the time to choose inexperience or lazy leadership. Only the People's Labour Party PLP has the plan, the people and the policies to secure our Federation's future. So on election day, vote for your PLP candidate and let's keep delivering 
a secure future for everyone. St. Kitts and Nevis can have a strong and secure future. We can have a future with a growing economy, a future where people are protected, and a future where jobs are being created. But this future will not happen by accident. We live in uncertain times with the risk of a global recession, increasing oil prices, and increasing COVID rates. Now is not the time, therefore, for lazy or inexperienced leadership. Now is the time for strong, experienced leadership that puts our country and people first. So on election day, I encourage you to vote for your PLP candidate. Together, we can deliver a secure future for you. God bless you. I'm here in Atlas Village, the start of my constituency. Now this election coming, it's a very crucial election where we have to make a choice. A choice for our future. We have to consider where our gains are and where our losses are. A vote for Labour will put us back where we had bloody streets, mourning parents, children losing their fathers and at early age. Let us vote for Andrew Talbot Bass to secure a safer future and safer streets. St. Kitts and Nevis has come a long way. Our streets are safer, our economy is much stronger, and our people were protected during the COVID-19 pandemic. We can have a stronger and safer future. But in these uncertain times, that future is under threat. Predictions of a global recession would mean less jobs for our people, less opportunities for our young people and further increases in the cost of living pressures. This election, you will decide who you trust to manage the economy in these global and certain times. Now is not the time to choose inexperience or lazy leadership. Only the People's Labour Party PLP has the plan, the people, and the policies to secure our Federation's future. So on election day, vote for your PLP candidate and let's keep delivering a secure future for everyone. St. Kitts and Nevis can have a strong and secure future. We can have a future with a growing economy, a future where people are protected, and a future where jobs are being created. But this future will not happen by accident. We live in uncertain times with the risk of a global recession, increasing oil prices, and increasing COVID rates. Now is not the time, therefore, for lazy or inexperienced leadership. Now is the time for strong, experienced leadership that puts our country and people first. So on election day, I encourage you to vote for your PLP candidate. Together, we can deliver a secure future for you. God bless you.
Saints kits and
And if you receive that you have paid, put on the face. Is for you. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, my task is finished. I now declare that Ken Dale has been nominated as a parliamentarian, the parliamentarian constituency representative. <laughs> <laughs>
Let's look straight, let's look straight, let's look straight, okay? Let's look straight, Charlie. Good. One more, one more, one more, we go. St. Kitts and Nevis has come so far. We cannot risk our future with labor. St. Kitts and Nevis cannot risk going back to uncontrollable crime when homicides were nearly 40 per year and safety was not a priority. St. Kitts and Nevis cannot risk going back to reckless spending of taxpayers' dollars when over US half a billion dollars were unaccounted for in labor-designed projects like La Valle and Kittishan Hill. St. Kitts and Nevis was poorer. St. Kitts and Nevis cannot risk going back to selling passports to suspected international criminals. A time when all Kittishans and divisions were placed on a banned list. Today, under Timothy Harris, the People's Labour Party is building a stronger economy and making our community safer. 
Only the PLP has the plan, the people, and the passion to grow our economy, create more jobs, and keep our streets safe. We welcome all of you to help us deliver the secure future which all of us deserve. Let's protect and build a better future. Saints Kids. program Timothy did that the pop program Timothy did that the health patrol school program Timothy did that Timothy did that. Yeah, yeah. Are you hold on, hold on. Took poor people out of poverty. Timothy did that. Creating more jobs. Timothy did that. I like that one, yeah, hold on. Increasing salaries. Timothy did that. Timothy Harris has done so much for this country and for the people of number seven. Just to name a few. The roofing program. Timothy did that. The pop program. Timothy did that. The health patrol school program. Timothy did that.
we've come a long way. Our streets are safer. Our economy is stronger. And our people protected. St. Kitts and Nevis can have a secure future. But we cannot take this future for granted. International storm clouds are gathering. Predictions of a global economic recession would hit us hard. This would cause less jobs, less opportunities, and increase pressures on cost of living. In these uncertain times, we need experienced leadership to secure our future. Leadership that will protect our people by keeping and improving PAP and STEM. Leadership that will build on the peace enhance and improve it so it never falls apart. Leadership that will create more jobs and more opportunities for our young people. Timothy Harris and his PLP team have a strong record of protecting the economy and the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. They have a strong plan to grow the economy, improve the peace so our streets stay safe, deal with cost of living pressures and create more jobs. Timothy Harris leads a PLP team of genuine community members who know the importance of delivering locally and being accountable to their community. Now is not the time for inexperienced or lazy leadership. There is too much at stake. At this election, you will decide who will manage our economy and protect the people. Only a vote for your PLP candidate will deliver a secure future with a growing economy, protection for the people, and more jobs. A vote for any other candidate will put our economy, jobs, and community safety at risk. So let's keep growing the economy. Let's keep protecting the people. Let's keep creating jobs. Vote PLP and let's keep delivering a secure future. We've come a long way. Our streets are safer. Our economy is stronger. And our people protected. St. Kitts and Nevis can have a secure future. But we cannot take this future for granted. International storm clouds are gathering. Predictions of a global economic recession would hit us hard. This would cause less jobs, less opportunities and increase pressures on cost of living. In these uncertain times, we need experienced leadership to secure our future. Leadership that will protect our people by keeping and improving PAP and STEM. Leadership that will build on the peace, enhance and improve it so it never falls apart. Leadership that will create more jobs and more opportunities for our young people. Timothy Harris and his PLP team have a strong record of protecting the economy and the people of St. Kitts and Nevis. They have a strong plan to grow the economy, improve the peace so our streets stay safe, deal with cost of living pressures and create more jobs. Timothy Harris leads a PLP team of genuine community members who know the importance of delivering locally and being accountable to their community. Now is not the time for inexperienced or lazy leadership. There is too much at stake. At this election, you will decide who will manage our economy and protect the people. Only a vote for your PLP candidate will deliver a secure future with a growing economy. St. Kitts and Nevis has come so far. We cannot risk our future with labor. St. Kitts and Nevis cannot risk going back to uncontrollable crime when homicides were nearly 40 per year and safety was not a priority. St. Kitts and Nevis cannot risk going back to reckless spending of taxpayers' dollars when over US half a billion dollars were unaccounted for in labor-designed projects like La Valle and Kittishan Hill. St. Kitts and Nevis was poorer. St. Kitts and Nevis cannot risk going back to selling passports to suspected international criminals. A time when all Kittitians and divisions were placed on a banned list. 
today under Timothy Harris the People's Labour Party is building a stronger economy and making our community safer only the PLP has the plan the people and the passion to grow our economy create more jobs and keep our streets safe we welcome all of you to help us deliver the secure future which all of us deserve. Let's protect and build a better future. My history of community work makes me want to be a representative because the kind of things I've done in East Bastia to help people has allowed me to see some of the realities that individuals and families face on a daily basis. So I feel strongly in my heart that I can come up with solutions to help persons improve the quality of their lives and deliver the secure future that they need for themselves and their families. And so based on my experience with the reading program, and assisting families get their medical expenses paid and buying groceries for their children, I believe that I can provide the support necessary through the People's Labour Party to help everyone in East Bastyr. And so that's why I would encourage you to vote for Jacqueline Bryan in constituency number one. Remember, Jacqueline and the Saw is who you're voting for. <laughs>
just say she's the one for me. In the number one constituency, she come up live her community. Jackie. Son of the soil, hey. can they 
Cause she always the way to go A man that would fight for the rights Of everyone in Sandy Point Ghosts are dead Coming from a little place where we call Saint Anne SP, where the best be People are strive to be nothing but great and Them can't test me Oh, Sandy Point me love you me not like oh, them can't stop a thing, them for go and try Sandy Point, Stashio are the best A man who gon' make Sandy Point feel blessed Best results, he hears every test Back where Sandy Point as a youth, he's a dress Hope City, Hope City, our very own A man with vision and dedication Stashio are the man we go get things done Best in the race, why you think he a run? Coming from a little place where we call Saint Anne SP, where the best be People are strive to be nothing but great and Them can't Test sweet, oh, Sandy Point, me love him in a lie, oh, them can't stop a thing, them to go and try. This is the best representation, Stashio, he is the best decision. From Cleveland to MI, fix you now get denied. When SP, full up with innovation, not to excuses, yes to results. Sandy Point, he will never insult. Real leadership are what the people need And we all know that's the man indeed Coming from a little place where we call Saint Anne SP, where the best be People are strive to be nothing but great and Them can't test me Oh, Sandy Point me love you me not like Oh, them can't stop a thing, them to go and try We love you, love you, love This is a new Sandy Point anthem SP we love For a new love, vision Powered by new representation. We love, we love, we love, we love. So it's time to restore yes, Sandy Point love, pride and love, spirit. We love, we love. And if the youths are the future, then let's get to it. Coming from a little place where we call Saint Anne, SP, where the best be. People are strive to be nothing but great and them can't test me. Oh, Sandy Point, me love you, me not like. Oh, them can't stop a thing, them for one try. Day, it's all the way. And the 
election day, shall go all the way. On election day, shall go all the way.
Son of the soil, 
Hey yo, 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 spread the word, spread the word. Let them know that a vote for Stashio is the way to go. A man that would fight for the rights of everyone in Sandy Point. Gosso then. Coming from a little place where we call Saint Anne. SP, where the best be. People are strive to be nothing but great and them can't test we. Oh, Sandy Point, me love you, me not like. Stop a thing, them could go and try Sandy Point, Stashio are the best A man who go make Sandy Point feel blessed Best results, he ace every test Back where Sandy Point as a youth, he's a dress Hope City, Hope City, our very own A man with vision and dedication Stashio are the man we go get things done Best in the race, why you think he run? Coming from a little place where we call Saint Anne SP, where the best be People are strive to be nothing but great and Them can test we Me love you, me not lie. Oh, them can't stop a thing. Them could go and try. This is the best representation. Stashio, he is the best decision. From Cleveland to MI, fit you not get denied. When SP full up with innovation, no two excuses, yes to results. Sandy Point, he will never insult. Real leadership, our the people need, and we all know that's the man indeed. Coming from a little place where we call Saint Anne, SP. Where the best be, people are strive to be nothing but great and them can test we. Oh, Sandy Point, me love you, me not like. Oh, them can't stop a thing, them could go and try. We love you, love you, love This is a new Sandy Point anthem. SP, we love For a new vision. Powered by new representation. So it's time. To restore SP, Sandy Point love, pride and love, spirit you love, you love. And if the youths are the future Then let's get to it Coming from a little place where we call Saint Anne SP, where the best be People are strive to be nothing but great and Them can test we Oh, Sandy Point me love you me not like Oh, them can't stop a thing Them could go and try I'm 
election day, it's all go all the way. And election day, it's all go all the way. And election day, it's all go all the way. And election day, it's all go all the way.
transparency Inclusivity, yes, that is Jackie Country above self, here is no one else Serving his bar, steady whole community Health care and welfare, let justice be failed Education is a priority Youth development, stops for you and me This master in the market, let we go Jackie Jackie This master, she's the one for we In the number one constituency She come up live her community Jackie She taking care of the elderly Children, middle age, me say everybody now show the net And say she care She saw now she will conquer Shaki come me with this And she come to conquer Who you voting for? Shaki, Shaki with this song Shaki, who you voting for? Shaki, Shaki with this song And say she care She saw now she will conquer And Shaki come me with this And she come to conquer Who you voting for? Shaki, Shaki with this song Shaki, who you voting for? Shaki, Shaki with this song He's past it Jackie, this master she's the one for we In the number one constituency She come up live her community Jackie, she taking care of the elderly Children, middle age, me say everybody Put up your hands, no show we make That's how she care, she saw how she will conquer Jackie come me with this and she come to conquer Who you voting for?
community where it makes me want to be a representative because the kind of things I've done in East Bastia to help people has allowed me to see some of the realities that individuals and families face on a daily basis. So I feel strongly in my heart that I can come up with solutions to help persons improve the quality of their lives and deliver the secure future that they need for themselves and their families. And so based on my experience with the reading program and assisting families get their medical expenses paid and buying groceries for their children, I believe that I can provide the support necessary through the People's Labour Party to help everyone in East Bastyr. And so that's why I would encourage you to vote for Jacqueline Bryan in constituency number one. Remember, Jacqueline and the Saw is who you're voting for. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. 
Everybody behind the system, just come and go right. Go down between the school road right here. Everybody behind the speakers, go right. Go right. Go right. Go down the road, park on the field, down the road. Yeah. Go down the road, park on the field.
All the nominees have come forward. All the nominees have come forward. Forward. Don't let nobody come up to center road. The center road is down only. Everybody go down the center road. Go down the center road. Park on the playing field. Park on the playing field. Let's get ready to go up the road in grand style. style. <laughs>
And we have this one.
Tabernacle. Mm -hmm. So you would need to stay with a tabernacle in the family. And then you will sign. Would you care to affirm or never? I am in the house of the man in the parish of St. John. You solemnly and sincerely, sincerely swear as follows. That I am duly qualified in accordance with sections 27 and 28 of the Constitution of St. Christopher Anibis to be elected as a member of the National Assembly for the electoral district, and that I am a citizen of St. Christopher Anibis of age 21 years and upwards. I am domiciled in St. Christopher Anibis. I am not, by virtue of my own act, on the acknowledgement of allegiance, obedience or adherence to a foreign power or state. I am not a minister of religion. I am not an undischarged banker, having been a judge or otherwise declared bankrupt or under any law. I am not a person certified to be insane or otherwise judge, to be of unsound mind or under any law. I am not under a sentence of death imposed on me by a court of law in any part of the Commonwealth, nor am I serving a sentence of imprisonment by what the name called, exceeding 12 months, imposed on me by such a court or substituted by a competent authority for some other sentence of imprisonment, the execution of which has been suspended. I am not disqualified for membership of the National Assembly by any law of the National Assembly, by reason of holding or acting in an office, the functions of which involve A, any responsibility for, or in connection with, the conduct of any election of representatives or members of the New Island Assembly, or any responsibility for the compilation of any register of voters for the purpose of electing representatives or members of the Nevis Island Assembly. Nine, I am not disqualified for membership of the National Assembly by virtue of any law of Parliament by reason of a having been convicted of criminal offence that is connected with the conduct of any election of representatives or members of the Nevis Island Assembly or B, having been reported guilty of such an offence by a court in an election petition. Then I am not disqualified for membership of the National Assembly by the law of Parliament, by reason of A, my holding or acting in any office or any specified by such law, B, my belonging to any defence force or to any class of persons so specified that is comprised in any such court, and see my belonging to any police force specified by the law, or to any class of persons so specified. Eleven, I'm not disqualified from membership of the National Assembly by virtue of my having any contract or interest in any contract with the government or with the department of the government or any office of the government. I made this. Declaration conscientiously believe the state. And I am aware that if there is any state in this declaration which is false or do not believe to be true, I am liable to find an imprisonment that is by that. 
So the real problem, most of you, what I would like you to look for is to present the name of the Now, both of you will be simultaneously. The both one of you will be going to have a problem on
ready to move forward with the agenda, the prosperity agenda, securing the future of our people, keeping them safe from harm, creating jobs, low economic policies, and of course, making the economy stronger. It is the strong economy that will provide buffer for us to do. The many things we are now doing for support, support to families with disabilities, viewers, our support to the bus operators, to different sessions. It is a strong economy that allows us to protect the need in the for in our country. And so we are ready to start day one. We have already outlined some significant initiatives for the first 100 days, and you will know that we are very percent When we say that come September, every work on the step program will be regularized become part of the permanent establishment of the government. We are giving them job security. We are allowing them to land us, get a letter to go for the visit, go to the bank, because they are no longer to be treated as temporary workers. When we say to all those who exited the government as non-establishment workers, where well as far back as 2012, we will do good by you. You can trust us, and we will make pay their pension and benefits. We are securing their future in the advanced age. When we say that we will introduce within the next 12 months the National Health Insurance Program, we are securing the future of our people. When we speak of September of a reduction of 5% to 10%, central um, being taken off the books as it were, being phased out, we are left leaving money in the pockets of our people so they can deal with the high cost of living, at least balance some of the high costs within these clothes. And in September, we had a massive review of the entitlements, the package, if you will, that are offered to government employees. There's a few that especially at the low market, it is the needs adjustment upwards. And so we will put a professional team to look at that. So all people will always be able to have a livable wage that allow them to live decent, comfortable lives. Final question. I think that two of you have already started the next of the bit. But my question what method would you need? Well, I think the People's Labour Party will start from that philosophy of union that we embrace all these things for it. So recognize we are willing to work with every single service. We are not seeing people to party lands, whatever we do, we do for everyone. When we introduce the PAC program, is for everyone. When we introduce a peace program, is for everyone. When we review the, the pensioners, we did not switch political parties, it's for everyone. So we leave you in the end, we practice it. Interestingly, um, our candidate for number one, her father, was more or less in the foundation of the People's Action Movement. His daughter has elevated, become interested in a gender of national service. So we are moving beyond the party line. It is the traditional parties who are now speaking to their supporters, coming back home to the tribe. We are not in political tribalism. And so we are open to harness all talents and experiences in our country beyond the, the party tribes in service of national. So, yes, we want a united country with the country. We hope that we are capable of doing it. The government, the deputy prime minister, the deputy leader of that, the attorney general of that background, our minister of labor, the minister of that background, Senator Biden is with the minister of labor background, and he comes to the labor background. So, we are working together. And the last several weeks have been about the most productive weeks for the administration. That is really the work. You are welcoming all the people in the country. We give the assurance that we want to unite from the one. The agenda will be about delivering, delivering for the people, all of them. Thank you very much. I would like to give you very much. Thank you very much, and I extend the good wishes to all candidates in the
uh, and the same in statements that the ministry gathered around on this. We respect the old God. We, the few members of the community, respect the old of the theatre and the lecture that are now being had in the country. We give you the article with the table so far. We look forward to a stronger, safer future in the victory of the state of the Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.